two to five minutes of pure like cringiness. If you like this, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanner, and as you can see, today's looks this nice, girly, pink, springy look. The theme I was going for was like a pink monochromatic look and it's so soft and honestly like I think it's so pretty for spring. Um, so if you have like a photo shoot coming soon or an Easter brunch or just going out and about, going to work, um, I just think it's so pretty. Like it turned out really good. <laughs> Um, I mean like even like my highlighter is pink like I definitely like pinked it out pink's my favorite color so And I wore this dress um, Completely on purpose All right, so there's gonna be two links in the description box They're both two different youtubers that I think you guys should check out the first one her name is Emma Her YouTube channel is gonna be more of like a vlog style. She even mentioned maybe doing like some fun painting videos I think she's so funny. She's so pretty and she's definitely an inspiration the second one is a beauty channel just like mine. Her name is Jamaica and she's so sweet. I met her at work and I'm so glad I did. And yeah, make sure you check them out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I hope you enjoy watching. To prime my face, I'm gonna be using the NYX Honey Do Me Up. And then using the Milani Prime Light just to give me that extra dewy glow. For foundation, I'm going to be using a mixture of the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade 201. And then the Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the shade Y235. I like this combination because it gives you that natural dewy look as well as... Using the Makeup Forever gives me a little bit more coverage than if I were to just use the L'Oreal on its own. I'm gonna be adding a little bit more of the L'Oreal just because I really wanna try to cancel out the redness in my cheeks so I can really focus on the blush for the look. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. I'm just going to buff that out using my Tarte Beauty Sponge. I'm going to set that area using the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I'm just going to continue setting the areas that I highlighted in. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with the Ulta Beauty Translucent Finishing Powder. It's just a pressed translucent powder. Using my Luxie Foundation Brush, I'm just going to be dabbing it into the skin. Then with my Physician's Formula Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer and my e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush, I'm just going to be bronzing up the face. I'm not going to be using too much bronzer just because I really want to focus on the pink from the blush in the next step. To bronze up my nose and add a little bit more shadow, I'm going to be using this Crown Contour Brush. I'm just going to be going back in with my Tarte Beauty Sponge to just kind of soften up the edges of where I bronzed to make it look more seamless and natural. And then the best part is going to be the blush. So I'm going in with this Milani blush in the shade, I believe, Luminous. I'll have all the details down below. And then I'm going to be using the Luxie Blush Brush. And then again, using the Tarte sponge, I'm just gonna blend that out, soften it up. Then I'm gonna use this Tarte setting spray to spray on my sponge and then dab it into my skin just to melt all the powders. All right, and I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows off camera because they are a hot mess right now. I'm gonna be taking the same Milani 
blush and a Morphe blending brush and I'm just going to place that color all over my lids and into my crease. I'm just gonna wing it out a little bit. Opening up my freshly clean Modern Renaissance palette just to make it look a little bit more presentable to you guys. I'm gonna be mixing the shades Buon Fresco and Love Letter and I'm just gonna be focusing that on my outer V using an e.l.f. blending brush. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go back in with the last blending brush I used with the blush and I'm just going to soften that out. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the two shades from the Modern Renaissance and again going in my outer V just to define it a little bit more. And again going back in with the Morphe brush just to soften that. And then going in with my Tarte sponge just to kind of sharpen the V out and clean up my under eye area for any fallout. And then using this liner brush and using the same two shades from Modern Renaissance, I'm gonna be lining my lower lash line. And then using the brush that comes in the Modern Renaissance, the smaller end, I'll be picking up a little bit of the blush and using it to smoke out my lower lash line. The NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk to line my waterline. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. For eyeliner, I'll be using the Clinique Pretty Easy Eyelining Pen. For blush, I'm going to be using Nefri by Jeffree Star. And I'll have the brush again listed down below. And because the Jeffree Star blush is super pink, I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild palette and use the shade Sweet Peon Peony? 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 Whatever. Just to kind of balance off the pink a little bit. So I was taking off the lipstick that I had on previously because it wasn't pink enough for me. The lipstick that I ended up going with is by Koki Cosmetics and it's in the shade Desire. Going in with a small fluffy brush by Morphe, I'm just going to be highlighting my inner corners and my brow bone. To top my lips off, I'm using the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. This is in the shade Snobby. For setting spray, I'll be using my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray and I'm going to fan it to dry it, stick everything in place. And then I'm going to be going in with my beauty sponge just to, again, pad the product into my skin. And yeah, this completes the day's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you in one way or another. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.